Hi and welcome to Give It Your Cooking's Chico Roll made in the Kmart Sausage Roll Maker. The Chico Roll was invented in 1951 by a man by the name of Frank McEnroe, specifically for the Wagga Wagga show. It's become an Australian icon since then. It's not even remotely healthy if you buy it in a fast food place, but I'm trying to make it as healthy as I can for you and it'll be very easy to do in the Kmart Sausage Roll Maker. Now, barley essentially takes a while to cook and it does contain barley. So we've got Got some barley there to which we're going to add a good pinch of salt and some water and we're just going to simmer this away for about a half an hour plenty of water don't worry about that in fact the water without the salt in it is very good to drink it's supposed to be lemon barley water is very good for your digestion apparently minus the salt obviously we're going to simmer that away for about a half an hour or so okay There's plenty of water there watch it doesn't boil over bring it to the boil let it simmer and then we're going to strain that water off okay these are spring roll wrappers and you buy them in the freezer section of your supermarket just separate them they are difficult to separate you'll end up getting a few tears in them probably and we're going to make a batter which is a half a cup of self raising flour a bit of salt and pepper one egg and about three quarters of a cup of milk or enough milk to make a really quite thick batter and we're going to paint that with a pastry brush onto our spring roll wrappers and what that's going to do is give you a crispy outer base and have a chewier thicker eggy sort of inside and that's more consistent with the chico roll pastry Okay, our barley is cooked and it's been drained now and it's really quite soft and it's about four times the size that it started out. We're going to put our cook for me onto the browning function, add a little bit of oil, just a drizzle, add our meat using beef mince there you could use lamb if you like but something that's got a bit of color in it it's quite lean and that's why I haven't put too much oil in there just break that all up and we're going to cook our carrots which are going to take a while as well with our meat and our stock cube now just crumble that all up that'll draw the moisture out of that meat and out of those carrots we've got curry powder too just a good pinch of that about a quarter of a teaspoon and we want to fry this all down before we add the rest of our ingredients because we don't want these carrots to be still hard preheating at the moment now the reason that I have done a batter and a spring roll wrapper is because the spring roll wrappers are really quite thin okay they're almost like can you see my hand through there they're almost like a spring roll wrapper well actually that's what they are and they're different to what the eggy sort of egg roll wrapper is so we're going to paint our spring rolls with our batter normally I would make these and then I would chill them and I would dip them in the batter and then I would deep fry them but we are going to be cooking these in the sausage roll maker and for that reason we need to have a crispy thicker sort of batter which is going to almost give a deep fried appearance so the oil is going to be used to this just vegetable oil is going to be used to be brushed on the inside of the sausage roll maker we've got our cabbage cut up so fine it's really 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 refined there you could have nearly done it with a mandolin if you wanted to uh, I've used the outer leaves of the cabbage because there's plenty of color in that and flavor we've got one clove of garlic we've got a little bit of celery actually I'll pop that in there with our meat and that could be flavoring that just a, just a tiny bit you can hear this starting to sizzle now the longest part of this has been the cooking of the barley but barley is a, it's good to have in soups and stews and casseroles barley water is good for you to drink that's another reason why it's handy okay we're going to give this a good crack of pepper now put some seasoned salt cabbage in now all at once garlic in now didn't do that earlier because i didn't want it to burn burnt garlic is what you smell when you're walking around town in the night time you can immediately identify the aroma of burnt garlic it's really quite pungent and it makes the garlic quite bitter onion and green beans now green beans are there for just a token appearance they really don't do that much and you probably won't even find them in the finished dish now that itself needs to have almost like a roux added to it. Now we're going to split these cabbage pieces down, add our barley, and we're going to add a little bit of flour just to bind it all together with a bit of water, otherwise it's going to be just too overpowering. You could use chicken stock or something in here if you like. And we've got lots of vibrant colours there. You see the orange, you see the green, you see the little pieces of meat. Okay, now we're going to sprinkle in about a tablespoon of flour and mix that all around and this is a twice cooked dish in with our bit a little bit of water there that will thicken up that flour into a almost like a white sauce see that and cooking this off like this will get rid of the rawness of the flour now it's in with our barley now i put more barley in than you probably find in a normal chico roll 
but because I don't actually have the ingredient measurements, I'm winging it here. I think you'll find it's a pretty true rendition. Okay, now that is pretty well done. Now it's going to be cooked in the sausage roll maker until it's nice and crisp and golden. Now that's not going to happen until I butter my little sheets here. Turn this off now. It's done its job. Butter my little sheets with some of my batter mixture. So we've got four here and these have to fit into the sausage roll maker. Turn the power off. That's what we need to do now. Lots of flavour in there and we need four of our, these things stick to each other and they tear each other apart. They're really not easy to get along with. They come frozen and if you can get them evenly out of the packet once you've thawed them, you're doing a lot better than me. Anyway, so it doesn't matter. They're going to be wrapped up with, with batter as well. Okay. All right. So we just get our batter and we paint it onto our wrapper and that's going to glue it together as well when it's all rolled up. Get some of our mixture, just down one edge. Now this has to fit into the sausage roll maker. It's not going to work if it doesn't. So just roll it up like so. Turn the ends in like so. Roll it a little further. Nice and tight and stretch it as you go. And there is our first little chico roll. And I'm going to sit that straight into the pie maker, which has been brushed with oil. Top and bottom. Serve these with sweet chili sauce or something like that. And that pretty well fits. Okay, next one. Batter, butter our batter, that's it. Put our filling, batter, oh, a good tablespoon of our filling there. Okay, push it in from the edge, roll it up like so. Wow, that's hot. Turn it in, turn it on itself, and then wrap it up. Okay, next one, same thing. Roll it up, ends in like a fish and chip parcel. Keep rolling like so. And this is what you should have. But they've got a very short cord. I don't know why manufacturers do that nowadays. And it's greased on the top as well. Now we just close that down. This filling is essentially cooked. Shut the lid, turn it on, and cook it for eight to 10 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. Okay, after eight to 10 minutes, this is what you should have. We're just gonna fetch them out now. You can see they're nicer and golden. In that short time, I've just reloaded the rest of them. So we're just gonna take them out. This takes me back. I used to do this when I was a kid. You get your chico roll and you put your chico roll into your chico roll wrapper and you eat it like that at the footy. <laughs> bit of chicken salt which is basically MSG in a box and there you have it, Chiggy Richo Cookings, sausage roll maker, chico rolls. Hot, hot. <laughs> now, they're a little bit shorter than the real McCoy, but they're going to taste pretty darn good. Lots of oil in here, we're pretending that they're deep fried and on the top as well. Okay, drop these guys straight in there, sort of push them in so they fit and give them another 8 to 10 minutes. I'm going to brush them with oil as well. They're not going to stick, I want them to have the crispy sort of pastry on the outside and the oil will facilitate that. Okay, close the lid and snap it shut. And there you have it, Chiggy Richo Cookings. Homemade chicken rolls <laughs> in the Kmart family sausage roll maker. Thanks for watching. Okay, we've loaded them up. We've cut one in half and I can show you what it looks like. You can see the meat and the cabbage and it's very hot. <laughs> Mm. And really, it tastes just like a chicken roll. Actually, it tastes better because you can identify what's in it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Now I have a lot of the batter left, so what I'm going to do is brush the batter on the outside. It's like a double layer. And then just pop that back in again and see how my batter idea works. Okay, we just turned that over and we're going to give the, the top side a little batter as well. I think it's working quite well. I've got this batter to waste anyway, so I just wanted to see what it would go like. Might be a good idea with banana fritters or something, I think. Alrighty. And just close it for a couple of minutes until that batter cooks as well. 